the Budweiser's back. Okay, so today I want to show you a couple of things. Here is a clone that is now about a month old, actually a month and a couple of days, that we trimmed the other day so we have the four main branches. One, two, three, and the very top. That's where we tied it. So we took off the two bottom and we topped it there. This is going to be transplanted either into uh, a medium um, pot or right into your um, grow bag. Either way you can go. When we do that, I've taken two and a half gallons of cocoa. I use this as a measurement and this is perlite and we have to wash the perlite and I'll show you that and we're going to add 20 percent. Now don't worry if it's slightly over or slightly under. But I want you to see this is an easy way to wash it with a strainer here and when we have enough water we can mush that underneath and make sure that since I have two and a half gallons here, 20 percent, I'm going to add another half a gallon. And when you're done, it will look something like this. So then, I'm going to mix up for the first week of veg a half a gallon that I can mix with this so that the soil I know that I'm going to, say, put into a pot um, already has um, not only enough moisture, but um, enough nutrients for the first couple of days. So then, since you can't see into a grow bag, I'm going to show you how to transplant here. But if you, in the pot, pack the pot, you will then be able to take the clone out with all the great rooting and put it directly without disturbing the roots and you're done as soon as you identify which plant you just transplanted.